You're currently watching KLM TV. Hey everyone, it's your girl Trish. Today's episode comes to you straight out the bathroom. You clicked on today's video because you need immediate relief from athlete's foot. Now, when I went to the doctor, I was prescribed this medication. Can y'all see that? How is it pronounced? Naf, 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 don't matter. It didn't work anyway. But what does work is <clears throat> one cotton ball saturated with some rubbing alcohol. Then you'll need some apple cider vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, any type of salt, and baby powder. You want to take your glove, <clears throat> put your glove on. You'll actually need a pair of these. You need gloves because athlete's foot can travel from your feet to your hands and to your growing area. Uh -huh. Take your cotton ball, saturate your cotton ball with the rubbing alcohol. Upon doing so, you're going to coat your toes with the alcohol on the cotton ball. You want to get the top of the toes, the bottom of the toes, and between the toes and the side of the toes, okay? Anywhere your toes itch, you want to saturate that with rubbing alcohol. At that point, you want to put your feet into either a foot tub or a bathtub filled with water. The water should be luke cold. And the water should only barely cover the top of your toes. At that point, you need four capfuls of apple cider vinegar. You're going to take that vinegar and pour it directly on top of your toes, not directly in the water. <clears throat> and you also need four capfuls of hydrogen peroxide again four capfuls for the top of your toes four capfuls for the left foot four capfuls for the right foot then you will need any type of salt i didn't have table salt i only have pink salt you need one tablespoon no one teaspoon for the left foot, one teaspoon of salt for the right foot, and that goes directly onto the toes. The reason why you need the salt is because the salts draw out the swelling in the toes. Then you're going to soak your feet in your water solution for 30 full minutes. Then you will take your feet, rinse the the salts off of your toes and you want to take a pe clean paper towel and dry your toes and feet completely the fungus it <clears throat> in, in athlete's foot hibernates hibernates harbors <laughs> lives <laughs> in uh damp areas so sweaty socks sweaty shoes that's where the fungus lives at that point you're going to take a clean pair of socks <clears throat> put some powder in the socks and put your socks on the powder is going to make sure that your feet stay nice and dry go ahead and give these techniques a try at home come back to this video and let me know down in the comments if this solution worked for you i only had to use it one time have not had athlete's foot since so once again comment below let me know if this solution has worked for you don't forget to like comment subscribe Tap that notification bell so that you'll never miss another episode. And in the meantime, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.